The Miso House. A man named Kechibe is the owner of a miso shop. He has a building behind his shop where he keeps all his miso. He calls it the miso house. One day he is getting ready to go on a trip. I will be back tomorrow. Take care of the shop. Of course, sir. And be careful of fires. I don't want my miso house to burn down. Don't worry, sir. Please have a safe trip. With that, Ketchy Bay leaves. Ha <laughs> ha! Finally, he's gone. Ketchy Bay loves money more than us. Yes, he's rich, but he never spends any money. He owns a miso shop, but our miso soup never has enough miso in it. And it never has tofu or vegetables in it. The other day, I looked into my miso soup and saw a large piece of wakame seaweed in it. I tried to eat it, but could not pick it up. It was not a piece of seaweed. It was the shadow of my hair. <laughs> oh, that happened to me too. He should use his money for us. Hey, he's not here, so we should use his money for us. <laughs> Let's have a party. That's a great idea. We'll order lots of good food and sake. Yeah, I'll have some sushi. And I'll have tofu with toast and miso. What? Tofu and miso? Yes, it's really good, and the toast and miso smells wonderful. After a while, the sushi and sake arrive. The workers drink lots of sake. At the same time, Kechibe is walking back to the shop. He forgot something. He hears the noise of the party. <laughs> Who is having that noisy party? Hey, it's my miso shop. What is going on? Open the door. This is my shop. Huh? Catch me? He's back already. <laughs> the workers try to clean the room, but it is too late. Kechibe comes into the room. He is very angry. Why are you having a party in my shop? To pay for all this food, I will use your salary for next month. We're very sorry, sir. At that moment, someone knocks on the door. It is the tofu shop owner with the tofu and toasted miso. Excuse me. Our shop is closed. Please come back tomorrow. But I just took it off of the fire. What? Fire? Who is it? It's the tofu shop, sir. The tofu shop is on fire? It is next to my miso house. <laughs> I can smell the miso burning. My miso house is in danger. <laughs> With that, Ketchibe takes a bucket of water and runs to his miso house. He throws the water on his miso. His workers are watching. Look, Ketchibe is making miso soup. Finally, we will have enough miso in our soup.